very fact that I'm talking to you. Listen. Nobody will ever look at me again. Why, leave me be. What am I to do? Do you know there's a girl crying on your doorstep? I executed her husband. What? You killed him? No, no, not like that. It was done lawfully. She knew he had it coming. So then, why... Folk would like to drive her out of town. She has no one here. For a while, I thought I could take care of her, but it wasn't to be. Why? Do you really have to ask? I can't even go to the tavern for company, and no one would sup their ale with me. And when I die, they'll probably push me into a hole with a stick so as not to touch my corpse. Is it really that bad? I'm not complaining, mind. It's a well-paid job, if you don't mind being a pariah. They might look sideways at you, too, just for talking to me. And that's what she's afraid of? Exactly. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of, poor lass. You could help her, though, if you wanted. Me? How? Alishka has no family, but her husband might still have some kin. Nobody will talk to me, but you could find out more. Why do you want to find her family anyway? Don't you want her to stay here? I do. She's a splendid woman, but I'd never want to keep her here against her will. The life I lead isn't for everyone. What would she have to put up with if she stayed with you? A lot, I can't deny. Most of the town folk wouldn't give her the time of day, at least not in public. If we had children, it would be even worse for them. That doesn't sound like a very happy life. It's not all bad. It's a well-paid job and even respected in a way. And when someone needs a bone set, all of a sudden they forget your reputation. How can I find out if there's any family? Try asking Alishka herself. She knows a thing or two about them. But, in the end, you'll still have to go and find out something from the bailiff, or from the records at the Rat House. All right. I'll see what I can do. My thanks, if only for the thought. I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. And why should I help you? It's really important. Hmm? Go on. Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sassau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agonizing. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. Oof. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <laughs> um, Herman sent me. <laughs> what a way to end up. <laughs> Don't despair. It could be a lot worse. Death could be worse, and I'm not far from it. <laughs> C 
Can I... Can I ask about your family? <laughs> what do you want to know? Don't you have any kin left? Someone who'd take you in? No. They all died of the plague. <laughs> and then I ended up with that man of mine. I always knew he'd get strung up one day. <laughs> Didn't your husband have any kin? Maybe. He mentioned some, but we never went to see them. Is that all you know? Yes. But if they're anything like my old man, the bailiff and his catchpoles will know about them. That's all I need. Do you know Elishka, the wife of the man who was hanged recently? The one that's with the executioner now. That's her. Uh, life can be cruel sometimes. Um, right. And do you know if she has kinfolk somewhere around? How should I know? Now, if you don't mind, I'm very busy. If Eliska stays with the executioner, it'll end up being your problem anyway. Christ. Oh, all right then. Tell the scribe. Where can I find him? He's suffering with some ailment, so no doubt he'll be lying in his chambers above his study, on the top floor of the rat house. I'm glad to see you. Is it possible to find out from the records where someone lives? You think we keep records of every serf? For Christ's sake, they breed like rabbits. But but I thought that in the rat house, though, in, in, in the books... Boy, the books are for recording pacts, undertakings, punishments, property rights, and so forth. In other words, important things. We don't keep records of serfs. Eliska won't be happy about that. Eliska? You don't mean the one who married into the Mishek family? Yes. Yes, you know her. Why wouldn't I? I used to play dice with old Mishek years ago. He had a son. A nice, polite lad. How is he? Oh, uh, you know, he's, he's quite tied up these days. Well, if you see him, tell him to swing by. And where are the Mishaks living now? A stone's throw from Rate by the small fish pond. Thanks. God be with you. Yeah! Go and mind your own business. What do you want? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Eliska's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. She's your nearest kin. Eliska's part of your family and she really needs you. I won't help anyone. Listen, you old hag. If you interrupt me one more time... Fuck off! I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. A bit of help would come in handy. Send her here, then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is. Good evening. You're not crying now? I'm not. I've wept enough for a lifetime. 
It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother and uh, they're willing to take you in. But... They're, um... They're not very nice people, Elishka. They probably work you to the bone. But you would get fed. Life is never easy. But at least I'd have a family. You're right. I'll have another talk with Herman. Take care. I've heard the way you talk about her, and, um... Would you like Eliska to stay? You know, Hal, she was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to retire, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well... Fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man. I have her under my roof. After all the years I was thinking of her. I don't want her to leave, but... I don't want her to be unhappy here either. your mind up I can't decide I don't know Mishikskin at all but at least I'd have a family Herman could give you a family too he's a decent upright fellow I've met none better and that's the honest truth but he's an executioner and what's the problem that the other women won't chat with you down at the creek did that sort of gossip ever interest you anyway? He's a fine man, isn't he? He's willing to take care of you and he has the means to do it. And he wants you. He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweetest girl in Ratai. That's true. We used to meet now and again and exchange a few words. I... Well, he always treated me nicely. By all that's holy. You're right. I'll stay here. Good luck, then. Herman? Yes? Could I... Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to. I... You can. By God, you can. Ah. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Think nothing of it. The main thing is, everything worked out well. It, it, it did. It, it did. Thank you. And I want you to have this. God Almighty. I've got Alishka. After all these years, me, <laughs> the executioner, has the woman he loves. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Henry. I have a feeling with Herman, I can finally find some happiness. You will. The two of you are made for each other. <laughs>